Okay, so welcome to this video. Today we are going to be looking at these Zebra Super Marble gel pens. So these are actually quite old. Um, I don't remember exactly how old they are, as in when I purchased them, but it's going back to at least 2000, 2001. I got these as a set. I don't have the original box anymore. Um, and I've had them a long time. I've not used them all that much, but we can see I've used that one quite a bit. Um, but I was asked about these recently um, from a photograph. I took some pens. I was asked what they were, so I actually went and did a bit of research to see if they were still available. Um, this edition of the pens, they are no longer available. These were discontinued by Zebra. Recently, Zebra have bought them out again. And we have these, which are the new Super Marble gel pens. Um, they come in a four pack. Um, we've got a different style ink, um, a different style barrel and cap. Um, and I've since found out that these have been discontinued in the UK again. Um, there's a reason for that. So we'll come to that just shortly. So I was asked about these original pens. And from that, I did some research, found that they are available again. So I went out and got a pack so I could do a comparison of the old with the new. Um, I've had this pack now for a few weeks. I haven't opened it yet. We are going to be opening it just now. So first, what we're going to do, we'll take a look at these pens. Um, I really like these pens. They are some of my favourites in my collection and I've not been using them as much as I could do. So each pen has three colours in there. Um, we can see that some of them are quite identical, some of them are a little bit different. Um, we've got different shades of red or blue. Um, for these two for instance, the blue in there looks a slightly different shade, um, but for most part we've got blue, pink and yellow in those. Over here we've got the lilac, pink and red. And we've got again lilac, pink and a softer red. And then we've got the lilac, green and uh, a red there as well. We're going to take a look at these and have a little play. So it's gel ink and I've never had any problems with these pens. She says that. Now she's just about to write. So we'll see how we get on. Oh, they just feel gorgeous. They are a wonderful set of pens. And even with writing at an odd angle, so as I don't get my shadow into the picture too much, um, yeah, they still write perfectly. Um, I don't know how well we can see this from the video, but we can see we've got the colours in there. So what we're seeing predominantly here is a little bit of the blue, I think, just there. Um, mostly some green, some pink. And yeah, they, they are just gorgeous. With these pens themselves, they do have a slight sheen to them. I don't know if we can see that on the camera. Perhaps if we do a block of ink, we'll get to see that sheen a little bit more. There we go. That one's still drying, but they do dry to a soft metallic finish and they do look really nice. Okay, let's carry on and try some more of these pens. So from that, we can see we've got really good coverage there. That one was just a tiny bit off just at the start there. I am holding it from a bit of a, an odd angle so as I don't get shadow over the page. Um, out of these, this one and this one are my favourites. It's just how the colour rolls there. So we've got the pink and the lilac and we can also see some of the blue. So, as I say, I've had these for some time now, um, and yeah, they are some of my favourite pens. I've kept them in extremely good condition for almost 20 years now. Um, I just don't want them to finish. 
because when I got these, there was nothing else like them on the market at the time. Um, there still really isn't now, to be perfectly honest. But what we're going to do, we are going to grab this new set of pens and we're going to open them up. So let's take a little look at them. Okay, so the first thing that's noticeable with this pack of pens is that one of the colours doesn't really have a full ink barrel there. Um, I was quite disappointed about that. Um, if these are anything like these ones, um, then, you know, I've then got a pack, a set of ten of them. It's, you know, <laughs> you, you sort of want more of this gorgeous. So, um, in regards to this pack of pens, I actually reached out to Zabra. Um, I didn't actually expect a response back. Um, I did, and it was a really friendly response, really in-depth. Very, very happy with the customer support. Um, in terms of these separate pens, I've been let know that these are discontinued again in the UK. This particular pack, I did end up picking up from an American seller, which was a bit of a surprise when I paid the invoice and then saw how long it was going to take to get them, that they were coming from the US. Um, they're still quite widely available in the US. You can get them from Amazon, eBay, other online market shops. You can also find these in the stationery stores over in the US as well. Um, I saw these quite some time ago in the UK, passed them up because I didn't know what they were. I had no idea at the time that they were a re-edition of these. Passed them over, didn't pick them up, and now of course I wanted them. Um, so let's open up that pack and take a look at what we've got going on there. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so one of the first things I do notice about these is that the inks are quite individual. With the older sets, some of these are very similar. So we can see, for instance, oh, come back here. We can see that those two look quite similar there. Um, so do those, but look at the marbling in that one. That is just amazing. Um, but yeah, we've got some quite similar colours of inks, whereas with the new set, these they don't look replicated. Because you've got what I did like about the old old sets is that they had on the cap the actual colours that were in there, so you can see those. Um, out of the style of the pen, this is more like your standard gel pen today, um, for the thickness and the type of the barrel. These ones are quite unique because they are very slimline and the cap on there is nice and tidy as well. Now these don't actually roll, the caps do have an indent over on the edge there so that will stop them from rolling. There we go and the cap will also post quite nicely. So let's give these little babies here a trial. Let's see, let's go with this one first. So, as we've seen, these are fresh out of the pack, brand new. Let's see how they go. Sometimes with gel pens, you can have a little bit of a rubber end on. And they're brand new, these don't appear to have that. So, let's give this a go. I will actually write a bit naturally, just get started. Ooh. Okay, that's actually coming out quite green there. Oh, it's getting a little bit lighter. I'm actually really pleased that that's gone straight out of the packet. Um, I've had the pack now for several weeks and <laughs> I've been struggling for time to do this little video. Um, but yeah, straight out the box, that's working right away. It's quite green at the moment. We can see it's gone a little bit of a lighter green there.
even writing at a bit of an odd angle that's come out pretty well okay um these do not this one in particular to start off with does not marble the same as the old pens um we can see that's pretty much just one tone and i should imagine that as you obviously get start to get down the ink you'll start to see variations um but from this it does seem like it's quite linear there so we seem to have a green coming out so actually i'm thinking maybe it's the yellow and the blue that's mixing there we should have a little bit of pink you can see quite predominantly there it's blue and along this section that is all pink obviously we can't see what's inside if there's any sort of variation on the ink underneath there but that's all pink at that point when you get further down the barrel we can see that's going to go into a orangey colour actually when that comes out with the pink and the yellow okay so the ink quality itself let's take a look because we know that these older sets do have a little bit of a, a sheen to them it's like um, a, a bit of a, a muted metallic so i'm not sure if i am seeing that there not to the extent of the old set let's give that another go there we go do that quite close together so obviously that is wet ink let that dry off a second no i'm not seeing the sheen that we get with the older set so in terms of quality of the pen straight out the box writing straight away didn't have to prime it don't have to wait don't have to pray to the gel ink gods to get something going um it, it's come out in one color Mm, not not quite the same as what these old sets are um but either way that is a really nice pen that's that's come out really well okay let's try some of these other colors so we've got this one we've got the green and the orange a little bit of blue down there let's see how we get on with this one okay this one's got a little bit more of a variation in the ink there we can see the blue we can see some of the pink we can see some of the green this one seems far more closer to the old set in terms of getting that rainbow going on there um, and again straight out the box no problems whatsoever So this one is actually coming out a bit closer to the old ones. You can see that there's that variation into the ink. Oh yeah, that's actually looking really pretty. Oh, that looks so lovely. Okay, let's try number three. Again, straight out the box. Let's go for it. Oh, that's pretty. So that actually reminds me of these ones here. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at those. Oh wow, that is so pretty. Oh god, that's my favourite of that set. So again, straight out of the box, right away. Literally right away. So last but not least, this is the one that had considerably less ink than the others. Um, pretty much it, it's, for the length of it, it, it's like half as less of the others. Which is a shame. Let's see how it writes. Oh. Oh, a 
idea. Oh, listen at that scratch. That's not good. Oh no. Okay. Oh, that is disappointing. Can't be helped. Oh, wow, that's actually really tight on there. Okay. So we don't actually see any gaps in there that would stop the ink flow. Um, that's one of the things with gel pens. If you have a gap or a bubble, rather, in there, that can stop your ink flow. Um, it's full. It's complete. It's not obviously full all the way down. But we don't seem to be very happy with that one. Oh, no. So that was interesting, actually, of that one being the one that's half full. It doesn't want to start. We had a little tiny bit going there. That looks like it could have been so pretty. Okay. I don't know if there's anything that we can repair on that to get that one going, but that is disappointing. What a shame. Okay. So, in terms of these new pens, I did say that uh, I contacted Zebra and they said that they have been discontinued. The reason for that was that the quality of the pens um, didn't match what, what they would expect. This is the answer that I was given as to why it is I've got a pen that only got half the ink in. Um, With that being said, of the exception of that one, I am actually really happy with those. Um, the first pen there doesn't quite marble the same as the others, but with these two, we are seeing that marbling. Now, once I had done some research about the pens, one of the complaints was that it didn't marble quite the same as the older set. I'm actually really happy with those. I think those are just as good as the older set. Um, it's a shame we've only got three out of yeah three out of the four pens that do work. Um, but again, I can perhaps no perhaps about it. I can understand the fact of why these have been um, discontinued in the UK. Um, I don't know if they will be discontinued in the US or if it is or it's just old stock now that's on shelves. Um, I don't know if you'd have to speak to your other stockist. Um, obviously for these old ones, unless you can find these on eBay or something like that, perhaps someone's got an old set of those pens, um, you aren't going to find those otherwise. They are nearly yeah, nearly 20 years old for my set. Um, I don't think there's very many people that have an original set still. Um, as a replacement, yes, I am happy with those, especially those two. Um, a shame we didn't get that one to work. Um, but yeah, I think it is a shame that these are discontinued because these are a really good contender for the old edition and the old edition were extremely popular um, people were always after these these were bought back by popular demand yeah if you were looking to get a set of the zebra super marble pens I would recommend those they are of good quality believe it or not for these two especially they, those look amazing I'm just so happy with those um, and then you can see there the variegation in the inks. No doubt people in the US can pick these up cheaper than what I can in the UK. So if you come across these in your local stationery store and it's reasonably priced, I would say yes, pick up a pack, go for it. Um, so yeah, there we go with those super marble pens. Um, any questions at all? Do give me a shout um, and yeah in the meantime go forth and enjoy your pens don't keep them in the box out of the way like I did certainly go out and use them which I am now doing with those okay thank you bye bye